I feel like this hat gives me like Joe from you. Like this is giving me very Joe Goldberg. Cheers. Do not judge my choice of lunch, question mark. I don't know if this is lunch because I've technically not actually had any breakfast today. I'm currently having waffles, fish fingers, and beans with little sausages in for what is a 12 o'clock meal. I have absolutely nothing else in my cupboard, but I'm way too hungry to go out and do a food shop, to then walk around the supermarket, then come back, have to cook the food. I just need this as like a little, before I do all that, I just need some sort of fuel. Um, right everyone, I've literally just thrown on a hat and then this jacket and my shoes. I'm now gonna go to Asda and do a little bit of a food shop because like I said a minute ago, well not a minute ago, it's been a long time since I actually filmed that clip. I've just been editing this vlog. But like I said in that clip, I have absolutely no food in, so I need to go out because I'm getting hungry again and I have nothing to eat. So I'm gonna drive to Asda, go do a little bit of a food shop and yeah, that's the plan. I feel like such a big scruff. Like I, this is the stuff I would normally wear on the house and like I mean people wear tracksuits out I'm not saying you're a scruff if you wear a tracksuit but I feel like I've been laid in this all day long this is like my pajamas pretty much I mean I was doing it I also don't have a t-shirt on underneath here and it's I'm not even the same grey. It's not even the same grey but we're just gonna go over there I'm gonna go do a food shop come back and edit I'm so tired me and Lewis went out this weekend and I it's just ruined me off babes it's literally done me over so embarrassing. I have all my food shopping just in the trolley still because I hate paying for 20p bags that I've got thousands of in my cupboard. Does anyone else have a cupboard in their house that's just literally plastic bags? But then I also have a cupboard in my house that's full of the bags for life that I forgot to actually get on my way out. So now I'm loading everything into my boot to pull up outside my house and repackage everything. Just the thought of spending more money on plastic bags when one, it's really damaging to the environment and also two, I have loads. But let's be honest, my main reasoning is because I have so many plastic bags at home that it just makes me sick the thought of having to store more. But food shop successfully completed, ladies. Yeah. Cheers, pal, thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Let's go. Like, what the fuck? That's so embarrassing. I mean, that probably probably would have all fit in one bag, actually, but um, I'm not doing it to myself. It's no way. <laughs> from you. Like, this is giving me very Joe Goldberg. Um, I have little change, oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I am back from shopping, as you would have seen. I've unpacked my shopping. A little change of plan for the evening, actually. I didn't know if I were gonna be seeing Lou tonight or what we were gonna be doing. I've bought a bunch of food, so like, do I? Do you want me to cook your dinner after work? But it turns out I am gonna go to Anna's house and me, Freya, and Anna are gonna have lunch, lunch together. We're gonna have dinner together, watch Euphoria, just hang out and chill. I'm gonna take my laptop over because I've still got a bit of work to be doing. But yeah, a little bit of a different evening. Anna were meant to be in LA, but you've probably seen all the stuff. Saf got COVID, couldn't go to LA. All the of it. So I didn't expect to be seen her. So now I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna take my laptop, take some snacks. We're gonna order some food. Well, we're gonna order some food to cook, and 
that's the plan for the evening. However, I'm in a bit of a rush because I didn't think I was gonna end up going. Uh, I thought I was gonna end up making dinner for me and Lou. So I didn't, I wasn't really dressed for the occasion of going around to Anna's saying that. I'm wearing the exact same as I've had on all day. Just freshened up a little bit. Was a bit stinky in that, that um, jumper. So I've put on some different clothes. Freya is literally on her way around to mine now. And then we're both gonna walk across to Anna's, have some food, watch some movies, watch some TV, have a little chin wag. Yeah, that is the plan. That is the plan of action, girlies. I feel like I've been very productive today. My new vlog goes up in 40 minutes. I'm very confused what's happening, my loves. Say hello to the vlog. Hi, vlogmas. Hi, vlog. Hi vlogmas. Hi, vlogmas. Vlogmas day 10. I'd be lying if I said I'd spent this morning any other way other than just literally laughing at myself. I literally was just looking at myself thinking, you are so ugly. Like, but it's not even like sad at this point. Like, I, I, I'm not sad about it because I know it's just me that like, I've got to deal with it. But at the same time, I was like, I've got to find some humor in such a dark place. <laughs> I've genuinely just been sad. Like opening Snapchat camera, taking a photo of myself, and then cry laughing. Like, I don't know if you can see, but my eyes, my eyelashes are wet because I've spent the past hour just laughing at my own face. <laughs> Sagamoni loves! It's now time for me to eat some sushi. I know it might look like I've just woke up, but I have in fact been working all morning. I've edited a full video. Um, I had my breakfast earlier, and I was gonna make myself some crumpets because I did a food shop yesterday, obviously, as you'll have seen. But then I remembered, I have this sushi and it goes off today, so I wanna eat it. And whilst I'm in the mood for sushi, I thought, what better thing to do than start my day by eating some sushi? Yeah. It didn't taste very nice. But oh my god. Mmm. We have it. Also, last night we were really nice. I really filmed nothing at all. But um, we just went over to Anna's, watched Euphoria, had some food, had some more food, chatted, hung out, laid on the sofa. All the things that gorgeous, gorgeous girls do, we did. Um, and now, I'm just eating um, sushi. I love chopsticks. I don't know why I just said that out loud. That was more of a thought that just came out, but I do really enjoy chopsticks. Uh, so a little change of plan again. I feel like every night I'm like, little change of plan because I don't actually plan on doing any of these things. I am actually going to meet Anna, Jazz, Sophie, Freya, Callum, Jodie. I'm not sure who else at the Alchemist. Basically Callum's graduation was today and because I was working, I couldn't actually go to like the celebration in the morning. He were only allowed two people. Anna went and met him afterwards and then they've all gone to the Alchemist for some drinks and some dinner. So I actually just got myself dressed and ready. My apartment's a state, so just mind what you're seeing in the background. And I am actually actually gonna go now and meet them at the Alchemist, have a few little drinky poos. Um, I say that, I'm actually not having a few little drinks. I'm literally just gonna go for the shits and the gigs and the laughs and the friendship and the fun and spend no money. So we'll see how that goes because your boy's broke. Crisper out. This is just proof that I came home last night, binged some TV, and ate all the crisp in the house. Whenever my mum bought crisp at home, I were never allowed to like eat more than one bag a day. But now I make my own rules. I can eat the entire multi bag in one day, and I continue to do so. So. Love that. I really didn't film much yesterday at all. We basically went to the Alchemist for some food and a few drinks. I say a few drinks, I literally had one drink. No, I said I wasn't gonna spend any money, but I was absolutely starving by the time I got there. So seeing everyone else eat, I tried to hold off for as long as I could and then I was like, you know what? It's now or never. I need to order some food. My mouth's so dry. And I have woken up this morning, woke up bright and early, but for some reason, as I said in my last vlog, me and Lewis were going to the gym every morning at half past six. And for some reason this week, the gym is just so unbelievably busy. I thought the first week in January would have been the busiest week ever for people going to the gym, but apparently the second week in January is the busiest week ever for people going to the gym. I woke up this morning and I, on the app, I can see the capacity of the people in the gym. I, it was like full. 
So like, there's absolutely no way on earth. I've said it for the past two days now though, which is pissing me off because I was in such a good routine, loving it, actually really enjoying going to the gym. But the thing is, if I'm going on my own, I hate the gym being full of like gym lads because I just feel one, so uncomfortable. There's no machines or anything to use anyway. It's just, I don't, I can't. I leave the gym feeling defeated because I haven't pushed myself as hard as I would because I just feel stupid. So I've not been to the gym this morning, but it is nice and early. It's currently like half past nine I am going for a tattoo uh, at 11 o'clock so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then I'm actually going into town to have a tattoo this is the last time you're gonna see this part of my skin without a tattoo on I'm quite scared actually it's the biggest tattoo I think I've ever got or at least in my head I'm telling myself it's the biggest tattoo I've ever got I can't remember what size scale I sent over to the guy to like draw it up as but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the biggest tattoo I've got and I'm also pretty sure that the placement of it is one of the most painful places to be tattooed. We shall see. I need to eat though because I don't want to go in there and then have like a rush of adrenaline and then come out and my adrenaline just be dropped. I may have nothing in my stomach. Let there be light. Oh my god, it's so frosty outside. Wow. Guys, I thought my plant was dieting. But what I've just realised is she's not. I am just stupid and the roots are like not in the pot. For some reason I thought this plant would die in, but what I've discovered is the roots are all around there and I've been watering the soil, but I feel like most of her roots are out there, that she just looks, I don't know, she looks a little sad. Anyone that's like an expert with plants, I really don't want this plant to die, but I feel like she's not looking the greatest. <laughs> Forget to vlog all day because they're busy! Oh, I have the body of the Grinch and it really is upsetting at this point. But hi girls and gays and anyone that pays any sort of interest to my vlogs. Oh! I haven't filmed. I don't know what the last thing you'll have seen on this camera is um, because I have been working. I'm working, bitch. Oh my god, I thought someone just came in my house. I haven't filmed hardly anything all day long because quite frankly, I've just been sat at my laptop. Morning. And now I'm putting on my school uniform and I'm going to school. I don't know why I'm wearing this shirt. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking actually that this could be quite fun. I've had a really productive little day. And now I'm going to Lewis's house. And because I've not left the house all day, I feel like I want to Put a bit of a spunky outfit on. In fact, that's a lie. I left the house to get toilet roll. Do you know what, guys? I had a real bad dilemma earlier. I ran out of toilet roll. I had one roll left, consisting of around five sheets. And I thought, right, I'm not gonna have a poo until I go to the shop to get more. Bear in mind, I live next to a shop. Pretty much, not really, kind of. Let me just tell this story before I get rechanged again because you're probably getting really frustrated at my brain, but welcome, this is me. I had five sheets left in my ensuite. I forgot and went for a poo in my main bathroom. Bear in mind, the entire front of my apartment is glass. You can see into my flat. You, like, it's not a joke, it's, it's a fact. Unless the door's closed or the curtains are closed. And the curtains were open because it was morning time. I just opened the curtains and I shit. No toilet roll. So I knew there was some toilet roll in my bedroom toilet. So what I had to do is stand up. I just had a poo, put a towel around my waist and walk to my bathroom. Now, if the front of my apartment weren't glass, I would just stand up and like, walk like this. Everyone would have seen me with a shitty ass and my penis out. I don't know why I'm even telling you that and I've just wasted so much time. That happened, that was fun. I feel like in my head, this looked a lot more fun than it actually does. I'm a go, I'm gonna go to Lucy's house. So, I'll probably not film anything and you'll probably see me in the morning driving home. Cheers! Do you know what girls? Don't hate me. I don't know if this jacket just makes everything look cool. Um, but I'm kinda... Mm. I'm literally just gonna lose this house. So let's just fucking go. I was gonna say I kinda like it, but I'm literally getting in the car to get out of the car, to get in bed, to go to sleep, to come home. So, does it really fucking matter? Yeah, it does. But I'm not gonna admit it just yet, so I'll see you in the morning. Um, unless something fun happens tonight. Hey. What did I tell ya? I knew this was gonna happen. Hi everyone, good morning, good morning!
And it is now the next day and I filmed nothing yesterday. It's now Friday, so it's the last day of the week. I want to be productive, I want to get shit done. So I'm drive, I'm drive, I'm drive, what? Well, I've drove back home early this morning, Lewis has gone to you now. And I am gonna go inside and make myself some breakfast and get the day started. Batch. I'm annoyed because I didn't read my emails last night and I were told that my car park is out of use from nine until one. It's now three minutes past nine in the morning and I'm just sat here like, oh, I can't actually park in my flat. I've got to now park on the street. Oops. 